currently spending two weeks traveling around Morocco for the very first time. It's really peaceful, but it's like, oh my God, it's so... <laughs> traveling with 12 other people, I'm on a nine-day group tour, looping from Marrakesh through the High Atlas Mountains to the Sahara Desert and then out towards the Atlantic coast. It's weird thinking like two, three nights ago we're in the Sahara Desert. Now we're here covering like salty seawater. Everyone make it out clean? Yeah, I ran the gauntlet. The difference with this tour though, is it's the first one I've hosted and organized myself. Uh, Everyone seems to be in good spirits still, which is uh, the most important thing. Working with Intrepid Travel, we created a bespoke itinerary which I put on sale to my followers, and we're now being led by our local guide, Hamid, and our driver, Lassen. It exists only in Morocco. <laughs> I like this tour as nobody's died so far. <laughs> wow! So this was where they had the arena for the Gladiator. Oh! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. This house, as he said, it's 400 years old. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that blew my mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, good morning from the Sahara Desert. What an epic night it was last night. We just slept outside in the Sahara Desert overnight in this little nest. It was actually not as uncomfortable as I thought it would be, <laughs> except I kept waking up thinking there was a bright light shining in my eye and I woke up and it was the moon. Yeah. So I'm quite poetic about that. <laughs> <laughs> Having a moon in your face. Yeah. <laughs> And then he brought the toe down. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. We'll come again. I am here. So, breakfast in bed. It's like a big breakfast in bed. As we say in Morocco, if you want breakfast in bed, you sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, nice toss. <laughs> Carl, how was your experience? Um, it was pretty much exactly what I wanted, which was perfect. Like, camp's amazing, amazing sunset on the sand dune, songs around the campfire. Not cheesy come by our songs, I mean, like, you know, playing traditional songs and dancing, and then we all lay down on the dune, watch the stars. That's my favourite part. I got my speakers out and got into like movie soundtracks and all just lay back and <laughs> saw shooting stars and stuff. Awesome, awesome. Yes, she cried. I did. She cried. <laughs> I was like pouring. Yeah, she great. <laughs> What's new? Tears of joy. Tears not, of joy, yeah. <laughs> not like, this is so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> Fuck you, Carl, in your <laughs> oh. All right, we gotta go. Okay, Hamid is calling. Come on. <laughs> Now we're sort of heading back west and we've got a long drive today. We've got like three hours in the Jeep to get out of the desert and six hours to the little town we're staying in tonight. But we're staying in the beautiful Riyadh tonight, so it should be pretty cool. So yeah, looking forward to see what the second half of this trip has in store. Without those drivers, Wait, we couldn't do it. They now do it by half because they grow up here. Uh, Mustafa, say something. Thank you, thank you. No, uh, thank camera, you. camera. <laughs> this place exactly it's a lake. Oh. It used to be a big lake with a lot of types of birds and the fish and then but once they built a big dam in Warzazat, 1975 it's totally dry. This is why the shape of this uh, restaurant, it's like a Titanic. Yeah, so we were, on the, we were on the movie studio tour and he's like, Do, have you guys seen the film Titanic? And everyone's like, yeah. He went, yeah, that wasn't shot here. That was shot oh. in Mexico. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Close. Close. <laughs> We've stopped at a nomad's camp. There is a lot of people doing this, about 100,000 people still doing this kind of life in Morocco. They move in from place to place, 
Okay, so they always choose a place not far from the well, and uh, this is what they live from. So uh, when they need money, they have to sell goat or sheep or chicken or whatever. When they need meat, they slaughter one, milk, everything. The nomad, they have to move. When there is a drought here, no green, no trees, you know, or no rain for a while, they can move up to the mountains, maybe anti-Atlas or high Atlas mountains or to the Atlantic Ocean. So they need to find, they need always to follow the seasons where is good for their uh, animals. So uh, that's their life, they like it, especially the old people. It's going to change, you know, because of the technology. But yeah, you know, same talking about <coughs> stopping at random things and the random surprises along the way. It's the first one, a nomadic camp. Mama! Yeah. <laughs> oh. So we just stopped in this little oasis in the middle of the desert. With the uh, uh, seven apostles of the Sahara. Did you see them? Did you get them? Yeah. It's called seven apostles. This is very much like uh, Monument Valley in America. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's ridiculous apostles. like yeah. Yeah. Seven apostles. Yeah. So this is what we call oasis. You can find the well with water there. But the water here is a little bit salty because it has the salt. So up here, <laughs> it's a little bit salty because it, it has salt. salt. <laughs> Don't put that in the video, okay? So, <laughs> so we put in the menu for lunch here. Please select what do you want. I would like some tagine with a side of tagine, please. <laughs> but Hamid, the thing to remember from here is the water is a bit salty because of the salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're taking away from this. Episode. Slow down. Slow down. We need to go to that one. Mind blown. <laughs> yeah, it's like we don't have uh, fish in this place, but we have sardines. <laughs> That's it. Oh, so after here, we will have about 25 minutes to civilization. So okay. we go to have a toilet, we meet our minivan, and then we drive. So yeah, we made it out of the desert and shows how weak we are because we've been in the desert for less than a full day. And it's like, oh my God, this paved road, we get some cold drinks and stuff, so. Yeah, we'll come back to civilization. Welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Miley. From the police. We get, catch the minibus, uh, another uh, one hour and a half now driving. We'll come to the civilization we'll be in we'll lunch. <laughs> we'll be in lunch. And after lunch, we have more driving, okay? Cool. We could see the goat on the trees today or tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. All these things that we're going to do today and tomorrow, they are Berbers. Berbers is the first people inhabited in the North Africa. And they used to have a big country called Maghrib. When the Roman comes to the North Africa, they call them barbar. And they call a lot of things that not exist in their country barbarian. So after that, the people they don't like to call themselves barbars, they change it to berber. But the real name is Amazir, means free people. Yes. And then the green, it means the high Atlas mountains. And then the yellow, it's down in the, the Sahara. You see, the, the, the driver got a sign in, in his ring. <laughs> Continuing our long drive in the afternoon, we were keeping our eyes peeled for Morocco's famous goats in trees. <laughs> we could see trees and we could see goats beside them. They just need to start climbing them. They're being a bit lazy. Yeah. 
We are going to see one of the things that you couldn't see in the other countries exist only in Morocco. It's the goat on the trees, on the Argan tree. Okay? You see a whole bunch of them right ahead in the tree. Just don't want to scare them off before we get there. They were in this tree and now they've moved to this tree. So we're just going to walk slowly and quietly towards them. Why do they only go in trees in Morocco? Because do we have, uh, you don't have, you know, our countries grow only in Morocco, okay. not in other places. After our longest day of driving, we'd finally made it to our hotel. We're all in desperate need of a shower, and then we're all going to jump in the swimming pool and then have another shower. But we're here, we've done it. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Try to sound a super Asian there. Hi! We're gonna jump in the pool! <laughs> Unfortunately, the mood was ruined when James passed on the message from Hamid that the pool was actually empty. There's no water in the pool. <laughs> no! First world problems, but... <laughs> but then in reception, it turns out Hamid meant the small pool and was just winding us up about the actual main pool. Yes. Are you made me look like an arsehole? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. I had a tear in my eyes. <laughs> This place looks alright. It looks like I'm keeping like that. Can't we get a chamber? They brought the straps. Cal's gonna fall close to bed. So not only do we have an amazing room, but our room backs onto the swimming pool. It had been nine hours on the road today, so it was so great just to freshen up, hang out together, and enjoy the peace and quiet of the hotel. <laughs> Welcome back to Carl Watson's travel documentaries. We are now at uh, Riyadh Palace Hotel where we are doing a lot of cultural activities such as experiencing the best of British cuisine. <laughs> <Cheers. GNC. laughs> made it out of the Sahara Desert. Yay! <laughs> like, we all love the Sahara Desert but it's still nice to be out as well. <laughs> after our breakfast. He's not getting any. He's not getting any, mate. It's my breakfast, not yours. The plan for today is we'll be exploring the small fortified market town of Taradant, and then we'll have a change of scenery as we head up the coast to the town of Suera, where we'll be staying for a couple of nights. Good morning, uh, are you ready for another day? A beautiful day, blue sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Welcome back, uh, welcome again to Morocco. <laughs> this is Tarudent. Well, to the right, you can see the wall. This is the wall, this part of Tarudent. It's called the Kasbah. Tarudent, it's called the grandmother of Marrakesh or small Marrakesh. The wall surrounded about six kilometers. Not like, not big as Marrakesh. Marrakesh is 19 kilometers. Pocket trail, Basil. Oh my god, Carl Watson! <laughs> It's an observation that Darren just made. We're walking around the streets here. No one's bothering us, no one's hassling us, no one's begging or trying to sell us stuff or anything, you know. And we could be more of an obvious tour group if we tried, you know. What did you buy? I bought a genuine Moroccan shit. Do I look? look? Awesome. I, I, I look the freaking business in this. <laughs> you know what we call Morocco? A country of vitamin C because we have a sunshine, a lot of sand, and 
Orange juice, and the best one in Morocco. Morocco. So now I am drinking the fruit of my labor. Literally, we've just squeezed my own orange juice. <laughs> this is our lovely, lovely owner. <laughs> oh, that's the best orange juice of my life. So I said it myself in Morocco. Carl Watson sunglasses. <laughs> Finale on my eyes. How incredible is that? <laughs> I was trying to clean my sunglasses and they broke. So I'm going to try and find some new ones in town. I can fix them, I take them to museum. Carl Watson music. <laughs> Watson music <yeah. laughs> This uh, town is famous for its this kind of souks. It has a lot of uh, Moroccan stuff, what the Moroccans buy and what the Moroccans need. It will be more busy during the afternoon. You know, in the afternoon it's always crowded and busy. <laughs> when I'm on a longer trip, I'll haggle for every penny, but when I'm on a short trip, and it's like four quid for a pair of sunglasses, you could say, oh no, two quid, and get to three quid, but it's like, eh. So, yeah, new pair of swords. They need a clean. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't clean. You right then? I'm perfectly fine. Would you like to buy a rug? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> I give you good price. <laughs> Terrible salesman. <laughs> I'm supposed to say best price, man. Yeah, I don't want good price, I want best price. Oh, you want best price? Yeah. Oh, well, come in, come in, my friend. I take care of you. Come in. Come in. <laughs> so he's making, you know, this, this is the way how they uh, shawakin the wood to make the hand of skewers. You know, skewers is very important in Morocco. We make a lot of skewers barbecue. We have a, a special feast called the Big Eid. Wow. Gift, gift. The guy just gift me this, yeah. which he said that I should use a necklace. What was your suggestion, Crystal? I said you could use it as a butt plug. I knew, I knew it was going to be So proud, Mike. So proud. I'm a lucky guy. I'm a lucky guy. Yeah. Show what's going on here, but we're in the square having a little dance. Right. Hey. Onwards. <laughs> We still had four hours of driving to get to Suera, but the views and the weather was about to change as we hit the Atlantic coast. So we just pulled over at this random spot. It's still warm even though it's super cloudy. <laughs> Very pleasant. It's grand. <laughs> so we're gonna eat some smashed avocado with salmon and surimi, which is crap. It's a guess. It's very yummy for my tummy. <laughs> So it's a pretty chill day. Everyone seems to be in good spirits still, which is uh, the most important thing. Everyone's having a great time. So yeah, love and life. We had one more quick stop before we made it to Suera, which was to learn about how they make argan oil from the nuts of the trees we saw the goats climbing earlier. So I will give you a quick idea about how we make an argan oil. You will see all the process of the production. Then I will invite you to drink a cup of tea and taste in argan oil also. That's good for you? Yeah. 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 But in the beginning, here, just to know, the women, they don't speak any language except Berber. So to say we'll come for you, they will sing in a little bit for you. Okay? Oh. Good? Oh. So sweet. <laughs> Follow me here. <laughs> It's created to help the women in this area, so we don't have right to use any uh, machines and also to get the best quality of argan oil because the first quality it's by hand like that, the second it's by a machine and the third quality it's by gold. the skin to get the nut inside so we need to wait in the fruit to become very dry. 
skin we use it for animals food camels and goats they eat in this one and the nut will break it to get a smaller kernel inside so this is the kernel what you need to make in argan oil this one you can use it to make two kind of oil the edible and the cosmetic the difference between them argan oil for food we roasted the kernel to have the flavor and the taste the cosmetic one we don't roast it we crush it directly like this so we take the kernel we put it in this hand machine or the grinder then we get we crush it like this to get this brown paste here so this is for the edible oil the cosmetic oil it's the same process just the kernel non roasted the paste is a little bit white so we use it to make the natural soap now we we'll invite you to drink a cup of tea and taste in some edible oil. Oh, lovely. Uh, is it YouTube channel? Sorry? Yes. YouTube channel? Yes, yes. So to give in the name at the last, okay? Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, <We're subscribing>. so, <laughs> <laughs> yes, followers. <laughs> we have uh, three food products. This is the Moroccan Nutella. Okay? The last time, but this is without chocolate, without chemical product. Just almond, argan oil, and the honey. You take a piece of bread, you dip it inside to try. And the best of starting by the oil to have the flavor and the taste. Come on, don't be shy. It's very, um, it's very, um, yes, yeah, I'm And, um, what's the word on the tip of my tongue? What does it taste like? Very, what's the word? It's very fragrant, yes. We have the pure argan oil that you can use it for all. Here, face and the body. So younger already. You're already younger, but you keep younger. I have 80 years, I still look younger, right? I'm 95. Yeah, no. <laughs> it smells like a fireball. Like cinnamon. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells, like, no, it smells, it smells, like, smells like an alcoholic the, the, the drink. The drink, yeah, yeah, it fireball. does, you're right, yeah. <laughs> you can pay by dirham, euro, or credit card. Mm. If you don't have money, you can stay to work. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes to go to a Sawira, a lovely city now is waiting for you. Is oh, it right. possible to have this? Is, this is the, um, I'm still rolling. Check out him. This is the most important thing that ever happens in any cultural experience. No, it's uh, TV uh, what, YouTube channel. Ah, oh, the, the world in 8 now. Really Thank good. you. You're welcome, Thank very you. nice to meet you. Thank nice you so much. Nice to meet you too, you're welcome. Job done, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the sun was beginning to set, we finally made it to Swera, where we'll be spending the next oh, two nights. Same hotel. Two whole nights. Two whole nights. Two whole nights. Um, Yay. Pack, and then Thank go you. on the beach, go for a swim, swim. have some seafood. Yes. Oh, Perfect. So after the mountains, High Atlas, villages, Sahara, Camel Ride, we made it finally to the seaside town, the beautiful city of Asawera, isn't it? A uh, good place for relaxing, uh, seafood, massage, hammam, uh, good restaurant, so everything except chimps. <laughs> <laughs> After getting settled in the hotel, we went into town for our evening meal and got straight involved with the seafood. Then it was time for a good night's sleep, so we were ready to explore the town the next day. The, uh... The music in the Liftness Hotel kind of reminds me of the Nodding Gandalf music. Welcome to Suira. You should pronounce it as Moroccan. Suira. 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 This is our guy today. His name is Rashid. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rashid. So welcome again. My name is Rashid. If you have any questions during the visit, don't hesitate, ask me. If I have a good answer, I will deliver it. If I have and no answers, I will just say I don't know, to be honest. I don't like to invent things to satisfy questions, okay? Oh, he so does. Welcome again and let's go. Hamid loves it. It's the opposite. Hamid loves to invent it. In Morocco, if we know the answer, it's yes. If not, we will make something up. <laughs> One of 
the cleanest beach in the world. Listed before number five. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is the port of Timbuktu. It is still a fishing port. And we have noticed that the quantities of fish have diminished in a very catastrophic way for the Medina. Some 25 years before, we had some 14 factories that used to can sardines. Now we have two, and they work at 50% of their capacity. The quantities of sardines are no more. And many people think that it's because of overfishing. I cannot talk about overfishing. We have noticed that these boats have to go farther and farther to the large to find now the fish. The fish no more comes to the shore because of global warming. The temperature of the ocean have changed, especially on the coast. That's why the fish no more comes to the uh, shore as it used to do. Before we, they could go to fish two, twice, <laughs> twice a day. Now they cannot do this. They go for a night and sometimes they, they, they come back without, without any, any, any fish. About to walk under all of the seagulls who have been feasting on the fish guts. So place your bets on which of us here is going to get here. There's a lot of seagulls. Don't use me, I'm not your shield. Everyone making out clean? All good? Yeah, well, I think so. Yeah, I ran the gauntlet. Yeah, I ran the gauntlet. <laughs> uh, here, you see these cactuses? Uh, you know how the French call them? Cactus. Oh, yes, the cactus. Oh, no. Le cactus. No, 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 no. They say that this is the cushion of the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do say it. French <laughs> expression, okay? I've got a bright blue wall. I've got a bright blue wall. I can't wait for my Instagram photo. Quick, 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 quick. quick. I've got to get my posing on. Come on, quick. Should I take a picture? Oh, God, oh, God, quick, quick. Oh, my God, pose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just take a still, okay? Okay, you ready? ready? Yeah, pose. Mmm, yeah, work it. Keep working those angles, yeah. Beautiful. Hey, done. That's a blue, that's a blue wall done. Did you even come to Morocco if you didn't find a nice painted wall? Yeah. Probably not. It's all not. about the bright coloured walls. It's all about the bright coloured walls. We made our way to the Scala of the Casper, which was built in the 18th century to defend the city still features 19 cannons lining the walls that are from Portugal, the Netherlands and Spain. For example, this one comes from Barcelona. It was made December the 30th, 1780. This part of the town has been used many times as a film location, including in Kingdom of Heaven, John Wick 3, and once again from Game of Thrones season 3. The actors coming inside, it is there. You see? Yeah. After this, we went to explore the Medina, which is a lot easier to navigate than the labyrinth of souks in Marrakesh. The Medina is peculiar because the only Medina for which we had a plan, that's why we have a main street and the parallel street we have left behind them, okay, and perpendiculars. Okay. So we made it to the fish market, we're going to get some stuff here and have it cooked for us for lunch, but just don't look down at what you're standing in. And don't fall. Fish cuts and don't fall over. Don't fall, don't fall over. <laughs> So, all of this was caught yesterday. It's Anastasia, tell us what you've learned in the fish market so far. <laughs> what have you learned? Nothing. She's a terrible traveller. Anyway, this is the fish market. We're getting so we're basically it's all caught fresh yesterday, and we're gonna pick some out. I say we're gonna pick some out. Hamid's picking for us because he knows what's what. Do you not like the smell of fish? No, I do not. It makes me not. The, the gentleman across the way, uh, when he asked what I was doing, I said, "Well, it doesn't smell like fish over here." So I walked that direction, and when I said I needed to come back to the group, he goes, "Take this with you." Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Verbinia. Like with the V is in the Oh, that smells good. Oh, that's so good. That's, oh, it's so much nicer than the fish market. Okay, so uh, we sorted out to get some fish for lunch. It's like a uh, part of local experience to come as the Moroccans do. <laughs> that was better. Just see what I did there. And we will take it to a local restaurant to be cooked and grilled for us, okay? <laughs> Hamid brought it here earlier. 
these guys can cook it for us, and then we can set it out and have a lovely brew. Hello, Carl Watson of Morocco. <laughs> As we settled down to enjoy our delicious, freshly cooked meal, I began to tell everyone about the secret Santa challenge we had prepared for the afternoon. We're going to give you 100 dirhams each, so it's like our money, your to spend, and then you're going to pick a name out of the hat, and you basically have to buy some Santa present for that person. Uh, whatever name you get, just yeah, think of something. It could be something really good, something stupid, something Top Gear-like and really inappropriate. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. See what you can get for 100 dirhams. Everyone had the afternoon free to buy the presents and then we'll exchange them tomorrow when we get back to Marrakesh. We've been set a challenge. We've been given 100 dirham, which is about kind of 10 pounds. Who did you get? That's Bev. You got Bev? Oh, nice. I got shoe. You should just buy a, a shoe. <laughs> Make it like this. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Total is 40, it's like 80 dirhams too. See, James is the brains behind this operation. Getting Chew a shoe and an egg holder because she loves her eggs. It says Viagra. Uh, Viagra is aphrodisiac. <laughs> and the ginger, rose, and the sweet wood, rosemary, thyme. And shoe, shoe, and an egg. Traditional Moroccan aphrodisiac. <laughs> I'm buying it for Bev because she's with Dallin. This is and I think Dallin needs some help, you know? That's <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're bringing you more customers. How much for these two? Like, uh, 30 for what? 30 dirhams. 30. I'm that good at haggling that I still have 70 left to spend on shoe. And by haggling, I mean going, how much does this cost? And he gave me the price, and I said, yes. Thank you so much. What's your name? Lassen. Lassen? Yes. Very nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you very much. Lassen. Lovely show. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. It's a beautiful town and it's just very, very relaxing and it's so nice to be able to walk around markets and not have people hassle you too much. You can go have a look, no, not, not too much pressure, take it easy. It's nice. Everyone's just very chill. It's not like the hustle and bustle of like, the city of Marrakesh. Yeah. You just feel like you're just part of the rhythm of life. The gentle, just going with the flow here. So, this girl is going to pull this car with her hair. Ah, come on, come on. Go on, love. He's doing it. After everyone had finished their afternoon's shopping, we met up for drinks at the beach bar in front of the hotel before heading back into town to watch the sunset. We're in uh, Swera, and I swear her by the moon and the stars that this place is actually awesome. It's, it's weird thinking like two, three nights ago we're in the Sahara Desert. And it was like roasting and dry, and now we're here covering like salty seawater and sea air and, and slightly cold. <laughs> it's, it's outstanding. The, in terms of uh, vibe, it's just a very chill place. Everybody's down to earth, um, kind, and uh, yeah. Then again, with the fortress walls and the the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, nothing nothing really beats it. So one of the favorite spots on the trip for sure. I am so content right now with life. Oh, <laughs> that's your cotton song. <laughs> <laughs> don't cry. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't. Yeah, tomorrow it's off to Marrakesh, and then we're, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Hot air balloon, then we're done. Very cloudy morning this morning. Fog still laying in off the Atlantic Ocean right here. But now, yeah, the tour's, you know, it's, it's coming to an end. We're heading back to Marrakesh this morning, but we've got one last thing left to do as a group, at least most of us have, which is a hot air balloon ride. Um, so it wasn't actually included in the tour, it was like an optional activity, but most of us have signed up for it for tomorrow morning, and you know, I can't wait, because I've never done a hot air balloon ride before. So that should be an amazing, epic, 
ending to what's been an incredible, incredible trip. So yeah, but first I need to find the hotel somewhere through the mist here. It was just a three hour drive back to Marrakesh, where our driver Lassen had a little surprise for us. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Where are we? What's going so on? We are in the middle of nowhere. This is where our gentle driver is living, so we can have a cup of tea with his family, okay? That's uh, like a Moroccan his hospitality. Last okay. our driver, is, before he's dropping us off the hotel, he's advised for a cup of tea in his house. The loveliest guy in the world. You can take your shoes off inside, but... Thank you. Have you come out on us? Ah, it's a short. Wife, she is beautiful, but Lashni is just okay. <laughs> <laughs> and guns. The guns is only for decoration. That means like a brave, you know? Brave. <laughs> Long time ago, horse, gun, you know, like this. But now it's just decoration. It's not allowed in Morocco to have any gun like that. Like in England. Yeah. Thank you very much to Lassen for being Yeah. And please translate it correctly. Yeah, <laughs> um, You've not just been a great driver who's got us around safe and sound and comfortably. <laughs> I didn't say that much. <laughs> but you have an amazing sense of humour, warmth about you. An incredible dancer. He was an okay dancer. A really, a really sensitive lover. A really sensitive lover. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's like, no. <laughs> um, so this is just on behalf of everyone, just a little thing to say thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Thank you so much. 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 Th
Okay, we're all in, and it's going to be a very peaceful morning of hot air ballooning. Oh my god, we're going! Time to move. We have lift off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, this is yeah. so romantic. Don't give us savage. Oh, oh wait, I forgot the... <laughs> I forgot the car. <laughs> yeah, we is this the one to Marrakesh? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, this is... Oh my god. How are you? Very good, thank you. Okay, my name is Ishan. Is this your first time? Yeah. yeah. It's my second. <laughs> <laughs> It's really peaceful, but it's like, oh my god, it's so <laughs> This is so, so calming, isn't it? This is amazing. It's so peaceful. Until <laughs> 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 that happens. I know that's steam. I know that's steam. I know that's steam. I know. Alright. Try it. We're going down. I know that's steam. Actually, once we went further up to like cruising altitude, then it was just pure bliss. You're yeah, true. Yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so special. Oh, beautiful. It's literally amazing. This is pretty impressive. This. <laughs> this is like super, super relaxing. What's that on the horizon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man>. Ice seat. <laughs> <laughs> Iceberg dead ahead. <laughs> Come about. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Oh, look at that. It looks like a giant egg in a distance. <laughs> in an exciting turn I'll, of I'll events. Get you on YouTube. <laughs> it's amazing just how smooth and gentle it is. You know, you kind of you have odd moments where you look down and go, oh shit, we're actually up here. But most of it's just pretty easy going. Just. Incredibly impressive, but uh, at the same time, super, super tranquil. It, it was magical. <laughs> it was magical. It was really cool. I really loved it. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy yeah. right now. Good. Nice landing. You just stop one of this guy for everyone. Every landing's a good one if you can walk away. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need to know. I was, yeah, I was like, it was really, really smooth that landing. Yeah. It was yeah. good. That was so good. It was kind of what I expected to be, but in the best way possible. Yeah. 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 Floating around, yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoying the morning view. Fantastic. <laughs> great, great end of the trip. Yeah. It was our last day in Morocco, and before we had our final evening out together, we spent the afternoon just chilling in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited you? <laughs> Me. <laughs> so we're back at the hotel and we're going to do our secret Santa now. All the stuff we bought in Swera, we're now going to present to each other here. And we've got to put the book, book back where we found it. Got to put the book back where we found it. Yeah. Right, Charlie. Okay, so I got Christy. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's oh. Awesome. Oh. Is because I think that out of everyone in this group, Christy has pushed herself out of her comfort zone more than anyone basically because she was absolutely terrified to go on those panels. So I wanted to get her something that would remind her of that like experience basically. Yeah. Awesome. I got Stian and I had no fucking idea what to get him. <laughs> but then we went to that little shop and I was like, I'll get him his name. Oh, wow. Morocco 2019 on it. Oh, yeah. 
got I got Carl. Oh. Oh. Um, that's an amazing gift. That's yeah. awesome. That like good look good at my new flat like on the windowsill oh. or something. Yeah, I don't okay. know if I can play Wonderwall on it. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you like music, you can uh, sing, yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Between the guitar and the little drum yeah. and those, we have a band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be we'll be better than they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christy, we got a bottle of 100% argan body oil. Oh, thank she you. gave the best massage of the trip. <laughs> what is like this? Her. I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the person I got was Anastasia. Oh, the wow. first thing I got her was a scarf. Oh. 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 And the second thing was a bracelet. Oh! oh. oh. So okay, so the first thing I got for shoe is a shoe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can't have an egg cup without an egg. Oh. <laughs> Imagine who I got. Who, what is his name? It's Jim. Oh. Oh. The first one is him. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. The second one is yeah. It's a t-shirt, Morocco in Arabic. This is another heart. So bad, unfortunately, you got me. <laughs> like when we're in the pottery place, you were saying how you always like to buy like a shop glass or something. Oh, you should have a nice you. little saucer nice. and a nice little cup. Very nice. Five, five minutes hot water yeah. and then you're good to go. Good to go. Right. <laughs> and once you've finished, there's some tea. So Bev can relax after. <laughs> so between Bev and I, we have both Michaels. So Irish Michael, yeah. which says in Arabic letters, Irish, Irish Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full set of vehicles. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. So obviously I was lucky enough to get Charlie. <laughs> I didn't know if I should uh, get her another one of those uh, erotic novels she loves to read so much. I decided on something a little sweeter. Okay. Just because she is such a sweet person. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes Secret Santa. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we all we all enjoyed that. We all went into town for sunset drinks at the Sky Bar, and then for our final meal together, Hamid picked the perfect restaurant with candlelit tables, a fantastic view over the Medina, and it was complete with traditional live music and belly dancers. Why do I have to clap? Oh, yeah, Mike. <laughs> oh my god! James, James! Behind you! <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. Are you ready? Come on, you ready? Do it, You know, normally I finish up my films by sitting here and talking about what an amazing time I've had. But this time, yeah, it might seem a little bit self-serving considering this was my own tour, but whatever, you know, I'm not going to apologise for saying that this was two of the best weeks of my life. We all had such an incredible time discovering Morocco together, but the person I need to thank first and foremost is our guide, Hamid. I just want to quickly say to Hamid, our guide here, who's um, wearing a Czech shirt, because that's what influencing is. 
We all my water streams couldn't have asked for a better guy than Hamid. You all know that. From the word go, he, from the briefing meeting, he got a sense of humour. And he took it and just carried it forward and it put his own sense of humour in. Basically, Hamid's made this trip for me and for us, so I, I literally just can't thank you enough. I don't, there's, there's, there's not many words I can say other than just thank you so much. You've been amazing. You've been one of the best guys I've ever had all around the world. Oh. I don't mean like, oh, I've been traveling, but like, literally, thank you. One of, I can't recommend you enough. You're a legend. Oh, I think oh my god. I never, oh my Everyone is a little bit sad and some tears this morning, but uh, that's the life. Very sad to leave that beautiful group and uh, we had an incredible time and something that we never, never ever gonna forget. I feel something in my heart just now, you know, something to touch That's a chicken. Uh, I love you, that's it. And the other thing I need to mention is of course the group. Now I've never had a bad group traveling, I've never been in a group that hasn't gotten along, but to have everyone get along so well from the first moment to the end of the trip and all just be on the exact same page in terms of like the humor and what they want out of the experience. That's rare. That's really, really rare. I've only ever had that before on the middle section of the Outback Tour in Australia on the HK Twin Y trip, and then the Everest Base Camp Trek in 2016, and then this group. And it's, you know, it's nothing to do with me. Like I said at the start, we did it on a first come, first serve basis. It's not like we had thousands of people apply and I picked this 13 people to go together and go, aha, look what I created. Nah, it was just, it was just random luck, you know? And you saw it, I mean, particularly in the first episode, there's sometimes where I have to sort of just step away from a group and just go like, this is, this is overwhelming. I can't believe what's happening here. I can't believe I'm here with all these different people from different parts of my life. It was just, yeah, it meant, it meant the world to me. It was just, it was, yeah, it was insane. Cheers, buddy. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Cheers. And as for what's next for me, well, I've just got back from doing a solo backpacking trip in Vietnam, so I'll start working on that film next. But in terms of more tours, the next tour we're doing is in Borneo, and that's in April. So, yeah, we're all set to go for that, and I can't wait. And then going forward, we've got loads more ideas for tours, and they sort of vary in budget, and that's always just determined by the location, really. But, you know, some of the cheaper ones we're looking at, we might do like a northern Vietnam one, like Sapa and Ha Giang, like a hiking and biking trip. Uh, might do an island hopping trip around the Maldives, just go and chill in paradise for a week. And then the slightly pricier ones, like one of the ones we're super keen to do is Patagonia, like might try and put that together for January. And then there's like Uganda, in fact just loads more of Africa in general and Central Asia and then the list just goes on and on. So we'll see how we do, we'll see which ones we end up doing first, it just depends on things like timings and demand and stuff like that. And as for Morocco, yeah, the trip went far better than I could have ever possibly dreamed it of going. And it's all because of the people who were involved with it. So, I love all you guys, and thanks so much for making it two weeks. I'll never ever forget.